Teacher Joy. Today, we are going to discuss about health, particularly on Pinggang Pinoy. So, we will discuss what Pinggang Pinoy is and some of the other important concepts of this topic. So, what is Pinggang Pinoy? So, as shown in my screen, it is a new and easy to understand food guide that uses a familiar food plate model to convey the right food group proportions on a per meal basis. So, this will help Filipinos acquire healthy eating habits needed to attain optimum and nutrition. So, this was developed by the Department of Science and Technology Food and Nutrition Research Institute. So, this is intended to guide meal planners in preparing food that is proportional according to current uh, nutritional guidelines for different age groups. So, what is the importance of Pinggang Pinoy? So, this serves as a visual tool to help Filipinos adopt a healthy eating habit at meal times by delivering effective dietary and healthy lifestyle messages. So, this Pinggang Pinoy depicts a plate with uh, color-coded portions representing the different food groups that should be on each plate. So, look at the plate. So, this is an example of Pinggang Pinoy. So, half of the plate is composed of the three food groups and these are called Go, Grow, and Glow. So the three food groups, first is go foods. These are type of food that provide fuel and help us go and be active. These are energy giving foods such as rice, grains, and other starches. These provide energy to keep one going throughout the day. Second food groups is grow foods. So these help our body grow bigger and stronger. So, this is an uh, example like meat, milk, and egg products. These are represented by the popular, what you call this one, tilapia fish that um, make up one-sixth of the plate. And then we have the glow foods. Uh, these are full of vitamins and minerals to keep our skin, hair, and eyes bright and glowing. Glow foods such as fruits and vegetables represent a larger portion of this group that fruits because more vegetables are needed to get proper amounts of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So fruits are represented by like a banana and vegetables by uh, malunggay leaves. So both of which are abundant year-round, fairly affordable, and of course commonly consumed. So those are three food groups. And these terms describes the functions of each group uh, or food group in our body. And then we have the sources of minerals. So vitamins, it is needed by the body in order to work properly. So we have vitamin A. This is used for healthy eyes found in orange carrots. Vitamin B is for energy production and iron absorption. This can be found in beans or bananas. Vitamin C is for strengthening blood vessels, uh, skin elasticity, and antioxidant uh, found in fruits like orange, grapes, guava. And we have also vitamin D. This is for strong and healthy bones found in fish, eggs, mushroom, and spending a few minutes under the sun can stimulate vitamin D production. And then we have calcium. So this is for bones. Uh, grow rapidly during adolescence. So right amount of calcium is recommended to build strong bones and fight bone loss later in life. So there are sources of calcium. So we have milk, cheese, and other dairy foods such as so, uh, this, soya beans, tofu, nuts, etc. And then we have water, the most important. Of course, this helps keep our temperature normal and this also helps to digest your food and get rid of waste. So remember that nutrition is the nourishment or energy obtained from food consumed or it is the process 
process of consuming the proper amount of nourishment and energy. And this deals with the food choices that promote growth, development, and reduce the risk of illness or diseases. Nutrients refer to the chemical component of food which our body utilizes as source of energy as well as for the development of muscles and maintenance of tissues. So food is any substance that is ingested and absorbed in the body in order to maintain life and growth. And for your activity, this is your first project in health. So you are going to create your own pinggang Pinoy using paper plate. One paper plate or you can draw or cut out pictures in any magazine or other sources then place it in your pinggang Pinoy. So example given, so this is just an example. So you are going to follow the pinggang Pinoy. Okay, the go, grow, and blow. So those are food that should be included in your pinggang Pinoy. You can draw. You can also make use of paper plates. So you're going to put uh, like vegetables, meat, uh, bread, etc. in your plate. And then you are going to cut that one so that it would look like a plate. And do not forget to write your name and your section and put uh, on top a uh, project in health one. So that is all for now. Thank you and God bless us all.